Hello, everybody, and welcome to the winner's finals. Uh, I'm Leviticus, and I'm it's my tournament, and I can do what I want, so we're going to commentate this one, because this has been... I say it every month, but this is actually the best month we've ever had. These games are crazy, and I can't... I can't sit here by myself screaming at my monitor any longer, so I'm doing it for all of you guys. <laughs> uh, if there's any issue with audio balance, please let me know in the chat, because admittedly I haven't really tested this, but we're gonna we're gonna make it work as best we can. Uh, I'm gonna give the players the go-ahead, and we'll get started very shortly. We have Snipe versus Hibimato. I'm gonna have with for you very soon. Snipe's still on level zero. Uh, I'm sure he'll correct that very <laughs> shortly and we'll be on. Alrighty then. Off to a great start. Not the same moves uh, from each player, but they both find a combo at approximately the same time here. Uh, the speed that they're playing at is incredibly difficult to follow. Snipe, I think, is gonna take an early advantage here, but his column 6 and 7 are blocked off by some untimely garbage. We're gonna have to see if he can address that. He is gonna underclear and get a combo in the process. I think both of these players are extremely aggressive. I do feel as if um, Snipe's massive improvement in recent months has come from... Uh, I wouldn't call it an imitation of Hibimoto's playstyle, but I think he's learned a lot of things from him and uh, incorporated it into his own game. Um, and uh, it's been doing wonders for him. He's been pairing it up at monthly tournaments uh, every month, I think, so far this year. He's he's won. I think he's played in all of them and won all of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's really been making a name for himself lately. And even now, he's pulling ahead of Hibimoto's. Board health is incredible by comparison, but... Uh, if anyone was watching the match against Betty, you'll know that Hibimoto is not easy to kill. Uh, he survives from incredible situations and somehow manages to top you out. So, uh, we're gonna have to see if he can. he's still got what it takes here to do that. Yeah, not finding uh, the combos he needs here. Uh, Blue-yellow is the thing he's- but he's gonna actually have to take a T because it's not coming. Sometimes you just have to take a different setup if the game won't give you the pieces. That's very dangerous! He's stacked up very high. He knocks it down, but there's more garbage coming! And he's only getting double yellows! This is horrendous timing! If Snipe can get another combo here, that's gonna be it! He gets an L! And that's gonna top him out! That's game one for Snipe! Already off to a lead! Both players taking very different setups in the early game here, um, but Snipe finding that first combo. His play speed! Look how fast he's making his moves and able to manipulate the pills. That's insane. If anything, that's going to be, I think, the factor that, that gives him an edge against CB Motto. Because, uh, I mean, if he can just combo faster than you, what are you supposed to do? You can make the best decisions in the world, but he's just getting to the combo faster. But this is looking very dangerous. He's really centered here. He is going to take down the center column, and I think he's going to take down the rest of his left side now too as well, yes. Um, he's going to build up to maybe get a red horizontal uh, so that he can maybe salvage his right side, setting up a crazy combo, but if he gets garbage in columns 5, this <laughs> could get ugly. Wow. Then he's going to take it down. Meanwhile, I think if I'm not mistaken, we might be seeing the beginning of a roof strat on Hibimoto's side. <laughs> uh, for anyone unfamiliar, this is sort of a new phenomenon that's come about. It's sort of a, uh, a, t a new take on the umbrella strats of, uh, of yesteryear. But um, essentially, on the left side, you can see that Hibimoto's built up sort of like a super umbrella uh, covering the left three columns. And uh, he may try to complete that by doing the same on the right if he gets the opportunity. Uh, the idea being that uh, you any garbage that falls uh, in those six columns is doesn't really do anything. It eliminates the drop time and the trash it, and the mess that it makes on the board. Uh, the downside is you could get stuck in a situation like this because you have way less room to maneuver, and that's going to be a top out. And they go right into the next one. Snipes up 2-0. He just wants to end this quickly, which would be unfortunate because <laughs> our bracket is way behind, and I was hoping this might go the distance. But, uh, you know, 
If you need any proof that this tournament isn't staged, you got it. <laughs> And uh, Hibimato making big setups in the center, whereas Snipe is making combos but keeping the board clear. Oh, but it's paying off now! Hibimato's knocking it all down and stunlocking Snipe at the top of the board. He's forced to break a setup just to stay alive and keep the whole, his board health intact. In the past, we, we if, if you've watched Snipe, you know he's not afraid of playing at the top of the board, but uh, EB Model's not really giving him an option either way. Wow, last minute flip. If he had messed that up, that would have been the end of the game. Yeah, uh, EB Model was looking a little rough at the beginning, but it really seems like he's turned the corner now and uh, he's brought his stack down looking much more even than uh, the Snipe's uh, sort of goal posted edge here on column 8 gonna give him a lot more room to maneuver and to make setups for combos, which is just gonna sort of exacerbate the issue on Snipe's board and give him more, even more garbage to deal with. I burn the chat saying, Snipe is all high risk, high reward. I understand where that sentiment comes from. I do think that uh, he is just, it's a little more complicated than that. It's uh, not that's quite that simple. He's, I think he's very good at managing risk and knowing when it's appropriate to take high risk options uh, when he knows that they're more likely to pay off and when he needs the payoff. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I've, I've ignored Hebe's board for just a moment and Snipe's already got it in turmoil here. Uh, he is surviving. He is surviving, but uh, the entire right side of his board is completely full. He's almost no room to maneuver. He's still finding combos, though, in the limited space that he has. He's gonna find a sweet fat log that's gonna drop his center as well, and just like that, he's back in it already! Snipe is still quite ahead, though, but if Hibimato can get a, a, an amazing stun lock chain like we've seen him do in some of the previous matches here, as I say it, <laughs> he's manifesting it into reality here. Uh, he's just going crazy. He knows he has to catch up on the board and, he, and, and bring this back to parody by giving, uh, giving Snipe more garbage and, and piling up some of his columns. He's, I think he's gonna just leave this right side the way it is and sort of employ a little, a little impromptu roof strats here as well. And before you know it, Snipe's at the top of the board now too. His column four is looking very dangerous. A little more garbage to just add insult to injury on that. Uh, he is going to make another combo here, and if he can uh, get this setup he has on, oh well, he's going to find another underclear to help bring things down. But column four is still dangerous. Uh, luckily, that garbage does not uh, fall where Snipe doesn't want it. It's actually going to make him a combo to help things out even further. And suddenly, this is looking very even. These players are incredible. They know exactly what to do in these situations where things look bleak and uh, the situation looks like the top out is unavoidable, but they know how to stay calm and, and make the moves they need to make in order to bring it back to a winnable state. players that have some really high up setups, but it looks like they're both going to drop them. I think Snipe got a little more out of that blue drop than he got, but he's going to, uh, he's going to just find those combos elsewhere, it looks like. Yeah, Hibimoto's done an amazing job, uh, to bring his board back to, uh, relatively healthy state. His center is certainly far more open than it was a minute ago, that's for sure. Unfortunately, not getting a combo there, but he's going to drop it now. Uh, I, think, I think this is where we're really going to see. I, I'm really not sure if the roof strat is as big of an advantage as it seems. Uh, EB has been playing around with it. I don't know if he's even fully convinced, but uh, unfortunately, there's so much stacked on top of uh, on the viruses in column 7 and 8 that I think you, ha you have to give the nod to, to Snipe. Uh, he has the, the virus advantage. He has the board health advantage, I think, too. Um, Hebe needs to turn up the aggression if he wants a chance here. Of 
course, he's uh, quite known for that, so I'm sure that uh, that's what he's thinking right now. And I'm amazing. I, I think that could have been a quintuple if that was possible in this game. I'm not quite sure. I check my math, but that was an incredible Betty level combo. Type is still doing what he can to find combos, even in what appears to be an endgame situation for him. You still need to keep combos going, because if you start playing the speedrun game at the wrong time and your opponent catches you at a bad moment, then you could uh, you could easily find yourself uh, throwing the game away. He's still looking for combos. He's managed to open up the right side, and maybe he has a chance at uh, starting to make some progress towards these viruses on the right side of his board, but there is a yellow that is horrendously buried on the left, and I don't know how he's going to reconcile that without putting some serious hurt on Snipe uh, in order to give him the time to unbury that. It's just completely surrounded by blue and red for multiple layers on all sides. Uh, that is very ugly looking. At We're going to have to see what he does on that, about that. Just more and more combos from Snipe because he knows, he knows, and across, getting the double yellow for that. And I think this is almost wrapped up. He just has a red that is quite buried. There's a lot of yellow and blue surrounding his red, uh, so he's going to need a lot of yellow to clear that away. Looks like he's still combo focused because he knows that he is not close enough to full clearing to, to stop up and let up on the aggression. He knows Hebe Model will take advantage of that if he gives him even an inch. But realistically, both players are in the same spot. Uh, if if Hebe abandons the full clear plan and he just turns up the combos and buries this red so deep it's impossible to get to, then he might have a chance. But that red suddenly is very close to being open. Just a, a row of blues standing in the way. And maybe even a T setup? No, he won't set up for that. He will just take a simple double to expose the red. And Hebe's board is not looking good. He is going to need to pull out something magical to do this. And this blue-red, I think, is going to seal it! And that is a sweep over Hebe Motto from Snipe. That is a statement. Snipe's going to take it 3-0. We're going to look for another game here.